Hi everyone, this is Brenda and Tim from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well out there. Yes, today we have a huge pantry haul to share with you. We've been very busy here with the garden. We've had some, some successes in the garden and some not so well, but overall the garden's doing very well and been doing some canning and dehydrating to preserve everything. So let's get started and see what we got this week. So I've got some more canning jars, of course. Got some of the wide mouth pint jars and just the regular mouth uh, quart size jars. These are good for my broth. I do prefer the wide mouth when I can find them, but there's not that much choice available in the stores right now. So I did can some more a uh, few pints of our wax beans and some chicken. Hannaford had uh, the split chicken breast was on sale for $1.49 this time. It's been 99 cents for the longest time when it does come on sale. So price is going up, but it still um, took advantage of the sale and wanted to put some up in the pantry. Also dehydrated some cabbage. Cabbage was on sale for 59 cents a pound, which is a great price. And I still have a couple more in the fridge that I need to dehydrate, but took advantage of that sale to get some put back to put into soups and so forth. Got a few cans of spinach to add to the pantry. These are good until November of 24. Always good to have some greens in your pantry if you like them uh, for the extra nutrition. And got a bunch of fruit products here. We got a couple of our favorite uh, cranberry sauce and these are the last two on the shelf. I don't know if that means anything or they were just waiting for another shipment. And I was quite happy to find uh, these deals at Walmart. I prefer to buy my uh, fruit in a can in juice without any sugar added and they had both the pear halves and the fruit cocktail for a dollar a can which was a good price and so I stocked up on those and that was one of the areas I was uh, weak in in my pantry so I may be getting some when I again when I go this week. And I also got a couple cans of pineapple. These were bigger cans and uh, so they were $1.28 a can. So even you know the fruit at the Dollar Tree is $1.25 a can and usually there my experience has been that they have uh, some of the extra sugar in there. So these were a great find. Also got some more potato shreds from Augustin Farms from Amazon. I try to grab them when they're on sale and these were on sale for $8.14 I believe and they're actually cheaper than uh, the normal Idaho shredded potatoes that I buy and these will last till um, 2047. So the price on these fluctuates quite a bit and actually even last night the best price was $26 a can. So. And they just went down again to $8.14, so I just purchased another can. Got some macaroni and cheese, Hannaford. Had these on sale for $0.99 cents a box, which is a great price. And Hannaford also had their black olives. These are 6-ounce cans for $1.19. Better deal than the Dollar Tree and actually I couldn't find any at the Dollar Tree this time. So I was happy to grab these and add them to the pantry. And back here we have some more peanuts for Tim. These are good until July of 23 and they had them on sale for $1.49. So I grabbed a couple of those to put back in the pantry while they were on sale. Grab some more split peas and some more of this 16 bean soup mix and going to be put the, putting these in mylar bags. I was trying to figure out because it takes a bag and a half of beans, a uh, pound and a half yeah, of beans in a um, quart size jar and this is only 
one pound and I don't want to mix them. I don't want to keep them in single size. So I'm buying some smaller Mylar ba bags to uh, put these up. That'll be the better option for those. And I did get some canned black beans and kidney beans. Always good to have some already cooked and ready to go in case you the power is out and you need um, extra protein to add to a meal. Got some more flour. Flour and sugar are both keep going up in price. Got another 10 pound bag of sugar. I plan on making some blueberry jam this afternoon. So I was kind of shocked on how much sugar it requires. Seven cups for <laughs> one batch. But I'm also going to try the lower sugar version. I have a couple different kinds of pectin that I want to try. And got some more of fish sauce that was another area where I was low in the pantry and I use this uh, regularly for my teriyaki sauce and added some more protein sources to the pantry some more tuna and I has as I told you before this had gone up in price um, about 15 cents a can in price Walmart uh, didn't have any canned ham, but they did have some corned beef, so I bought uh, three cans of that to add variety to the protein in our pantry. And also got a couple cans of clams. I was hoping to find the little shrimp in a can, but uh, nobody seems to have them in stock. So I'll keep looking for those. And so I said that Walmart didn't have any ham, but I was able to find some canned ham at the Dollar General. And it was $4.45 for each can. These are good until 2027. Got some of the regular cooked ham, and then we have the hickory smoked ham. So I bought these on two separate trips. I went back and got some more. It's probably... 75 cents or so more than Walmart was charging and who knows Walmart's probably charging this price as well now but I uh, wanted to put these in the pantry they'll be great in soups and for breakfast got some more coconut oil I just used up a bottle and I do have a couple extra in the pantry but this is one of those items that I can't afford to buy one and add an extra one kind of thing. Um, price is definitely going up on this. It was $16.20. About a year and a half ago, it was $10.99. So definitely jumping up in price. But it's something that we use regularly, so we don't want to run out of that. And did get some nasal spray just to keep in our, um, our over-the-counter preps. So this is good until 2026, and it'll be handy to have. There's nothing worse than a stuffy nose you can't breathe through. Did make another trip to Sam's Club and got this bag of um, chocolate chips. It was a good price. The price of chocolate chips is going up at Walmart. So this was a good deal. I was hoping to find some cocoa, uh, just regular plain Hershey's cocoa, but they didn't have any this time. So I will definitely look again. I hear that uh, Hershey is saying that they're going to have a shortage of um, chocolates, uh, Halloween and Christmas chocolates and stuff, because they're having a hard time sourcing cocoa as well. So I may just get some at Walmart um, to make sure that I do have some for my baking. And I was quite happy thrilled actually to find these uh, nitrile, nitrile <laughs> gloves. I haven't been able to find these at least for a reasonable price since the pandemic. Uh, and these I got at Sam's and they were I believe $14.97 for 200 gloves which is a great price. Walmart was charging like $24 for the same size box or I think it might have been a smaller box. So, very glad to have these. They will last a long time. I use them for food prep and um, things that I when I don't want to get my hands messy. 
and I also got this at Sam's uh, hydrogen peroxide it was a two pack and these are 32 ounce bottles and they were $1.98 for both of them so that was a good deal to put back in our medical preps got a couple bags of the Epsom salt this is also creeping up in price used to be five dollars a bag and now it's almost five dollars and seventy cents but we like to use it um, in the laundry we have hard water here and it really softens our towels and uh, keeps them softer got some more of my pea pasta some of the spaghetti and the penny pasta got a couple little bottles of lemon juice that we use in our cooking and just making sure that Tim doesn't run out of his soap. It was um, $10.98 for these um, two 30 ounce bottles for the Irish Spring. So that was a good price. We grabbed those and got some more canola oil. That's also going up in price. But I don't want to run out with that. Tim's using it pretty regularly when he's making his hash browns and um, baking his goodies. Got a couple more jars of the red palm oil on Amazon. Uh, I got, they come as a two pack and I got these for $9.99. And when I was just looking through um, Amazon today, they've gone up to $13.99. So hopefully that's just a temporary increase and they'll go back down. But I'm glad I was able to get these before the price went up. And Hannaford, uh, I think this is a new product for them. They do have their own brand, but uh, this is the Nature's Promise uh, organic brand that they carry. And these were only $6.49 a bottle, which is an excellent price because the Bronner's Castile soap is usually $13.99 for a bottle. So I grabbed three of those. I use them for washing and making some of my um, pre-treatments for laundry and things like that. And grabbed some more tea to put back in the pantry. We also went to a local farm and they had this gallon size molasses which was uh, $18.99, which was a really great price um, as opposed to buying uh, these 16 ounce bottles. I just did the calculation. I'm saving like almost $9 by buying it in this large form here. So that's another ingredient that we use pretty regularly. And so I'm gonna be repackaging this in glass bottles. I save these bottles here and I just want to get them out of the plastic uh, while we're using it up and then I did have another Dollar Tree haul so got a, quite a few items here got a couple more boxes of the foil sheets that we use to line our air fryer and just repackaging things smaller things and for first aid, I got a couple more um, boxes of rolled gauze and some paper tape. Oh, got some more uh, doggy poop bags. I use them mostly for the litter box, the cat litter box. And got another flashlight. I thought this one looked uh, kind of neat. You can hang it and... Um, use it for camping or if you're out in the dark somewhere and got some more of these moisture absorbers for our cupboards these work really well uh, keeping everything dry and I've been on the search for mushrooms because mushrooms were another area in our pantry that we were low on and Dollar Tree used to have 10 ounce 10 ounce jars for $1.25 now they had these are uh, 7 ounces but it's still a much better deal than um, 
what the prices are at Walmart or even Hannaford. So I grabbed a case of those and I'll be happy to have those in the pantry and just grabbed a couple more reading glasses. Don't want to run out of those. I usually keep them in different places in the house. And of course, these baskets, I love these baskets. They're great uh, for storing and stacking your canned goods in your pantry. And they're easy to just, you know, grab if you need to move them around. So I always like to have some of these on hand as well. So, <laughs> that was quite a haul, but it's, we've been collecting this stuff for the past week and a half or so so it's, it wasn't all in one shopping trip <laughs> so let me let us know what you've been stocking in your pantry and if you're growing a garden I hope you're growing a garden let us know how your garden's doing and if you've been having enough to preserve and put away I've been also working on some seed saving uh, there's predicted uh, seed shortages next year so whatever you can do to save seeds from what you're growing this year will help you next year. So that's what we've been working on and <laughs> we've got a lot more projects coming up. We got to get our firewood going because we're going to be installing a wood stove and um, there'll be videos coming up on that as well. Uh, cold weather's coming quick. Yes, fall is coming. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us today. Please like and share this video and leave us comments down below if you have any questions. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll see you next time. Bye.